Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. How's everybody doing today? Caroline. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Good times <laughs> never <laughs> mean so good. So good. So good. So good. So, good. so, good. so Sean and I have a haul to share and it is the evening so hopefully the lighting is good i got the ring light going and some wall lights yeah hopefully it looks good so our haul is a thrift store haul and uh we went twice so i'm just putting it all together there's not a lot here and look at my beautiful cactus it's starting to flower hey jameson so jameson's here too Oh, so these beautiful, they're not for everybody, but these beautiful red velour uh, armchairs, wing chairs, whatever you want to call them, were part of this haul. So I was pretty happy. As soon as I walked in, I'm like, perfect, that's what I want. So Sean's laughing because he said, well, now you're ready for Christmas. You got your red chairs and your green carpet, didn't you? <laughs> All right, I'm just going to pull out of the bag I'm here. I'm so observant. You so are. this is what our living room looked like before. I just had our wicker chairs sitting in this front room, and I'll show you the new chairs from the thrift store. All righty, and this is the after. So we scored on these beautiful old uh, red velour um, chairs armchairs so that's with the fall pillows and that one is with them i love them they're beautiful yeah what do you guys think so i saw this and immediately went yes please it is a fleecy hoodie i think it was hanging in the men's but i was thinking when i have to go out to the chickens i got something warm to pull on It'll go right over whatever I'm wearing. And it was $10. It says it's a 2X. Let me sit on the end here. It says it's a 2X, but it's not that big on me. It's got a hood. So I thought that was worth $10. Oh, we got some books. So this was uh, one that Sean chose. Clive Kessler. One of my favorite authors. Yeah. Unfortunately, he passed away last year. Did he? Yeah. But I think his son's still writing the books. Oh. I picked up uh, Nora Roberts Forever, containing the two classic novels, Rules of the Game and The Heart's Victory. Now, the books are always pretty cheap in there. I think... Um, I got a whole bunch of receipts here. I think the uh, softback or paperback are a dollar. Yeah, a dollar and then two dollars for a hard, but we didn't get a hard cover. So yeah, that was my book. And oh, I've got stuff wrapped up in here. I saw this. And I know it's going to glow uranium glass because I can see it. I paid $1 for this and it was a improved gem trademark. What's that? R-E-C-D? -E yeah. But it, that is really nice. See the green in it? So I'll see after the video if that's going to glow for us. I, I see green and yellow. Oh, actually, you were in the store with me. We got quite a few of them. They were all a dollar each, but I don't know why. You see, they have sales. And uh, this one's a pink sticker. And what was that one? Yellow. Yeah, and I think pink was 50% off this week when we were in. It always shows it. So how many did we get? See, that's another yellow sticker. I think there was five. Did they? Yeah. Now I am going to use these. Let me see if I can get them all out. That's a bigger one. That one was $2, but it was a pink. So I think she took 50% off that. I don't think all of them are going to glow, but I can see 
some of them might. So there's the last one, and that's another small one. Well, they got kind of a yellow. -y. So yeah, they're going to take a regular mason jar lid. Yeah. We are going to see with the black light if something happens with these. Yeah. I just remember. For sure, it, they're it, old. Anything that glows is pre-1943. Mm-hmm. Can you take that, please? Yep. I always look at the blankets and kind of for nice blankets for the house. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Hey, hey. He's moving the camera. Hold on. Technical difficulties here. He's uh, <laughs> going to straighten himself out. <laughs> Thank you like this. That's like great. Chickens. Yeah. It was, um... Jameson. Sampling. Uh, He's Moose chewing Amber. on a bone. But anyway, yeah, I look at the blankets. I always look for, like you saw in the last haul, I found that beautiful 100% cotton one. Well, I always look for stuff like that, or I look for the animals, because I am constantly washing blankets. All my animals love blankets, including Molly the pig, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. She fluffs hers all up as a, as a pillow. So this was a baby blanket. I think pink and blue were 50% off, so I paid, it says $2, I think I paid a dollar for it. And it's a blue baby blanket. Yep, I'm throwing it over to Sean. And then I got this pink one. Where's the tag on it? This one was $3. And it's also a pink tag, so I probably only, paid a dollar fifty. Only because it says real tree little tree oh um, okay so it's pink on that side with the little uh, satin fro but look at this side he <laughs> it's cute that's this one is for Rosie anyway my bedding upstairs is this uh, eyelet pattern so I bought this because that gives me a third um, decorative pillow on top of the bed that's for our guest bedroom we haven't had any guests stay. Oh, we had. We've had guests stay over. I shouldn't say that. This was $2 pink. I probably paid a dollar for it. And it is the exact same. So right now I got two pillows on it. And then this one will go right in the middle. And I bought uh, this cute little dog only because it's a TY. Where's your tag? Some people say Ty. I think it's TY though. Well, my kids were growing up, they said T.Y. Anyway, it's got a 50 cents on it. Pink, I paid 25 cents. And he is the cutest little guy. Isn't he cute? We'll sit him up here. You sit there, buddy. All right, so that was that. Oh, one more thing. I found this little, I looked at it and it's a little cottage. Oh, now my battery's getting low. It's a little cottage and it says Irish blessing on our home and it's a magnet can you show a close-up of that and it was a dollar that is going on our fridge not too close back there up Oops, stop <laughs> yeah isn't that really nice okay thank you we're sitting back because I wanted you to see the chairs and uh, that, that lot of stuff that I just showed come to $19. Not bad, eh? For all that, what did we get? Two blankets and all those glass things and jars. So that was $19. These red chairs were both priced um, $50 each. But every time you shop there, you get a $5 off coupon on the bottom off your receipt and uh, you have to bring this in and show them so mm -hmm. she looked at me and she goes uh you're in here all the time aren't you and i said yeah pretty much every week sometimes i go in twice a week if i'm in town right so she says oh she says i'll give you a discount so when she rang the two chairs up they came to like we did whatever way she did it she rang them in separately and it was exactly fifty dollars each receipt so I don't know how she did it because it just says $50. In other words, no tax was charged. Pretty good, eh? She just put one furniture, yeah. 
$50. So I was really happy with that because people online, I'm watching online for, you know, nice wind chairs. I want antique. And a lot of people are overpricing everything right now. It's crazy. That's very true. Yeah. Now, I have a picture. I'll do a before and after of what I did have sitting here because I did have my... I did have my uh, wicker outdoor chairs sitting here. Yeah. We still, I moved the one wicker chair to over there and then Sean's got his leather chair, but it was nice because uh, we had friends over and the four of us could sit in the living room and chit chat instead of sitting at the table. All right, so this is the next haul. I believe I went in and did this one by myself. Oh, I can throw that down. I just don't want him on it. So I went through the men's stuff. So I found a few things and you did try them on, didn't you? This says an extra large. Oh, I bought this for myself. Extra large and it was $6 and it was pink. So $3 off. What's on this? Side? It's got a, something on the side there. Does it say Batman? No. It says Matrix. Oh, Matrix. Yeah. Now, I don't think this fits you, did it? No. Oh. And anyway, I says to him, I picked things out that if you didn't like it or it didn't fit, then I would wear it because I would wear this. So I got that. So I scored that. So you were just stand on the totem pole. <laughs> Bottom this shirt. I hope this one fits you. The Tommy Hilfiger. I think it did. Again, pink. It was eight dollars, so I got it for four. It's a Tommy Hilfiger. You did try this on, because the arms are. So it's you know the collared. Oh, that's a short sleeve. Yeah, it's a short sleeve, and I'm pretty sure that this fits you. So for four bucks, he got a nice navy blue Tommy Hilfiger. Hopefully, we're not sitting like too far back. Next, oh, I dropped it. Next was this jacket, really nice. And I got this, again, a pink sticker tag. This was $10, so they would have gave it to me for five. Did this one fit you? Stand up and see. This was a nice uh, jacket. I think it did. Could you show us, please, what you got for, it's got beautiful, like it's got your little pocket here and a little snap. The snap pocket? <laughs> so you don't want to try it on for us? I think this did fit you. <laughs> and then I told them, give it back because I'm putting it away for Christmas. You're getting secondhand clothes for Christmas. <laughs> no, this Oh, yeah, no, this oh, no, that one didn't. Okay, I'll keep that jacket. Yeah. That'll fit me. Thanks, kill me. <laughs> Throw it in the floor there. Now I have to wash all this. Then I saw this one, and I know he loves stuff like this. Did this one fit you? The knit one. Uh, that one might have. Yeah, this one was $15. Pink. So we got it for $7.50. It's black uh, knitted sweater. With the zip up, I'm not sure if this one fit you. My glasses are still broke, by the way. Uh, was 15, oh, Calvin Klein jeans, that's why. So this is Calvin Klein. If it doesn't fit him, it will fit me. <laughs> Those of you ask me, what's that mark on his shirt? <laughs> It's called dog slobber. Dog slobber. Yeah. I saw this black pillow and I just, I don't know, I was drawn to it. It's black and it's like a, what would you call that? A, a basket weave pattern. And this was $3, a pink sticker. So I got it for $1.50. The pillow and all is in it. I just giving you as a close up. Look, isn't that pretty? It's one of those long pillows. Da -da! What? Uh, you do it. I usually do you, but I'd be <laughs> that I'm actually doing it. I'm going to show the stuff. 
I blocked her face off. <laughs> Did I block you? <laughs> yeah. You know, Caroline with her doilies. This one is beautiful. It's big and it's going to fit right over that whole table over there that the lamp is on. Yeah, now this one was, it's stuffy. It was $2 a blue sticker. I may have got it for a dollar, but even for $2, it was well worth it. Like, look at the size of that. It's huge. That was huge. And then I found some wool. Now, I'm not knitting. I haven't been knitting. But I'm not going to walk away from, uh, this is patterns, and it's 68% cotton, 16% wool, and 16% acrylic. I got two balls. They were $2 each, blue stickers, but that is enough to knit a hat. And I will be able to knit a nice warm wool hat with this, which I should be able to manage. And while I found the wool, I found this uh, old uh, Burnett uh, Treasures of Afghans. So I think this was $50, but what was drawn to me was the Afghan on the front page. Thanks for the kisses. Hey. We took him to the vet today and he walked in and they have a wooden bench for you to yes, sit on. Right and he smacked his head and then he turned around to go out again and he smacked it on the other side. And then she wanted him on the scale and he was shaking like, <laughs> poor guy. Yeah, you um, you're gonna knock down everything. The life of living with a hound. Anyways, my book here was probably 50 cents or 25 cents. <laughs> oh my goodness, let me get up. Got my brace on. How oh, are you, my brace? All right, so this was it, Treasures of Afghans. This is an old book. Look at that Afghan. I mean, if that took me five years to knit, I would still do it. <laughs> I've lost my seat. <laughs> this is an old book, yeah. So it's full of Afghan, knit, knit patterns, Afghans. And somebody paid, I don't know, $4 for it. What was that store called? It says Pioneer Co-op. It was priced at $4 when it came out to, to publish. 1979, there you go. And that's all the patterns that are gonna be in this book. Now, I already have a large collection of uh, knitting books, vintage all the way back to the 1970s. I thought we, yeah. I thought we picked some up from the 50s. And the best buy of all, now where's this receipt? So all this stuff that I bought totaled $63.25 for this haul because it was a lot of clothing, but this is the best part. I have been looking for these and I found them. I got myself some farm boots. I wanted the ones with these on the side to pull on. So now I've got my worn fleece, and my farm boots to go out to the chick chicks. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Now, I had to pay $20 for these, but I'm fine with that. They were well worth $20. There's the sticker on the bottom. Somebody's wore them just a little bit, maybe once or twice. Yeah, uh, they're bogs and they go up to Minus 34, so it should be good. We've had a few minus uh, 40 days in the winter time here. I know, I shouldn't be talking about that. I'm just trying to see what size they are. Need some light here. It says a US six, a Euro 39, which doesn't make sense because I thought a 39 was a seven. Anyway, they fit me perfect. I tried them on in the store and I love them. Yeah. So that is it. That is everything that we got at the thrift store. Excuse me, can I sit with you? Can mama sit? Oh my, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that's everything that I bought at, we bought at the thrift store. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you like seeing the, my thrifting, uh, cause I will do more. <laughs> 
Stealing the show. He huh? is. Yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. You've all probably already seen the little bit I've put in about these beautiful chairs. And I like them. They sit low. So my feet aren't dangling. Do you ever? I hate that. When I sit in a big high chair and my legs are dangling. Because I'm not very tall. Leprechaun size. Leprechaun. Look, look, he's, are you going to sleep? Are you? Poor guy, he had to get all his needles and we got him microchipped. And what else? Was that it? Yep. Yeah. The vet poked him and he, and bit, how, and how, he bit me. <laughs> yeah, and what does he weigh? Like, I didn't do that in pounds. I should have. He weighs 68.3 pounds. What? Or 63.8. Kilos. No. Was that pounds? That's pounds. Oh, my goodness. If that was kilos. I mean, oh yeah, he'd be a uh, he'd, he'd be, be like 150 pounds. He'd be like a hog. <laughs> like Molly. Oh my gosh, yeah, Molly's the best. I love Molly. She comes in as soon as the sun goes down, straight into her cage, and she she slept. We were up this morning, and Molly wasn't even up. Yeah. She went to bed at six last night. We were up doing our thing, having breakfast, and it was, what, 10 o'clock when we heard movement from Molly? <laughs> She's like a teenager. I a little stinker, grab my extension cords, and start running across the yard with <laughs> thinking it was a riot. Yeah, because we had to run the extension from the garage out to the... I didn't think of my coop um, placement for winter when we need to plug in the heat lamp but that's okay well we got an extension running out there and so we got back from the vet about 5 30 and i fed all the animals and i started to make sean and i's dinner and we sat down and ate and then i said i better go out and put the chicks to bed and when i went out they had all put themselves to bed except for trump trump was hiding behind the water and as the door was coming down, I heard a little squeak, but I was going to go and do a head count anyway, but they all went to bed on their own. So that makes me happy. He was well named. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With you falling asleep, you're heavy on my arm. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. He is. He's a good boy. When he got his needles, he was falling asleep in the... He was. ...in the vet's office. Well, he sat, he sat down, and he had both paws up on me, on my knee, and it was like, hold my hand, Mom. It wasn't me? Yeah. 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 We love him. We have no idea why somebody would have got rid of him. He's a good boy. And RJ, did he come in? RJ's upstairs. Yeah, RJ's upstairs. He's got his... He claims the recliner before he gets him. Yeah, our old man. Yeah, he is like an old man. Yeah. Anyways. He's even missing teeth like an old man. <laughs> I know. That's so sad. He's missing that big tooth and the one beside it. But anyways, yeah. That is it. That is our thrift store haul. This was the Salvation Army. Sol. Salvation Army in our local little town that's close to us. Oh, and I got a phone call today that my... Um, my, what do you call them? My, my custom insoles are in, but then she makes the appointment for November. So we got to wait a few, few weeks and we're going down to Brandon then for those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's sound asleep. All right, everyone. Take care and we will catch you on my next video. Bye for now. Caroline, bump, bump, bump. Good times never been so good. So good. So good.